Now that we've uh, talked about one of the great movies um, of this year, let's talk about some of the thing. This one other thing that maybe wasn't so great uh, for the year <laughs> <laughs> that just ended. It had its uh -huh. final episode, episode six. This is, of course, Obi Wan Kenobi, the Disney yeah. Plus show, um, the Star Wars Disney Plus show that came out starring uh, Hayden Christensen and. Um, even McGregor coming back. Uh, we the last time we talked about this was a couple of week. What was it last week or a couple of weeks ago? Uh, it was last week. So yeah. was that? Was it last week? Okay. Yeah, it was last week. Um, we, if you hadn't seen that episode, we, you'll know that me and um, Alex haven't been loving it uh, at all. Uh, it seems very superfluous, and who cares? Uh, which I agree with. Even with the great Darth Vader coming back and Hayden Christensen, right? Right. But I will say. This last episode, let's talk about this last episode and how it ended. Um, I actually really, I enjoyed it. Particularly, mm. of course, there's this final battle with uh, Vader and yeah. uh, with Obi-Wan. And it was a really phenomenal battle uh, where we got to mm -hmm. see a lot of force force powers in, in motion. We finally get to see Obi-Wan not be a freaking idiot. Yeah, he I, has been an idiot the entire goddamn season. I think, I think his powers came back finally. Like he finally yeah. got his powers back or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but he right? should still have the like the you know the brain like just general. <laughs> he still should be a moron. Yeah, we he should still be a moron, which he kind of <laughs> has been. Sorry, right, right, right. But you, you know they did you they did you bad there. Uh, but you know in this last episode he comes back full force. We got some freaking. Uh, four shame rocks. Thought that was really cool. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, there was that moment, which I now is kind of like honestly one of my favorite moments, maybe in almost any Star Wars film, when uh, Obi Wan takes a, a slash right across the helmet of Vader, right. and you get that amazing shot of just seeing a sliver of right. uh, Hay Hayden Christensen uh, right, right, as right. Vader for the right, first right. time, and then his voice cut, keeps uh, goes in and out. Yeah. I thought that was amazing. And then one of my, my favorite moment is the line where. He basically gives uh, Obi Wan a sort of backhanded, a backhanded uh, liberation. <laughs> yeah. where he's like, uh, "What did he say?" He says, uh, you, "You, you, I am not your failure." Yeah, uh, you did. Uh, you did not kill o Anakin Skywalker. I did. Yeah. Right. I thought that was phenomenal, and this is right. something that I've been wanting for the whole season series. And, yeah. and the series and it just it didn't happen but until this last episode um so i i really actually really enjoyed the last episode it gave me that uh so alex what did you think of episode six and just sort of your overall feelings of the only one series i felt yeah i i would tend to agree i thought it was much better than the rest of the season uh like again i couldn't shake the feeling that this was all a waste of time um <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, kind of like Boba Fett. I felt like Boba Fett was all a waste of time. They took a really cool character and kind of made him pointless, or I don't know, castrated him. Maybe that's not yeah. The right term. I mean, well, no, like, I, I, this is like yeah, really bad of, bounty hunter that and that we kind of had this like thing, and they made they gave him a heart, and you're kind of like, well, what should we have done that? Um, like and they do the Mandalorian it works. a little bit, right? Right. The, the Mandalorian yeah. works here. It doesn't work as much. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's, that's the Boba Fett thing. Uh, yeah. uh to, on this note, I was worried about them doing that to Vader. I was worried about uh, a very good buddy of mine texted me, said, Hey, I wonder if Vader goes to Tatooine, sees Luke and lets him live and lets him be the, uh, right. And like, lets him off the hook. And he always knows because he always going to, in the back of head, he was always going to try to, reconnect with his son and i was like wow that, that would be interesting but i also kind of would hate that because this here's this <laughs> kind here's this character who uh really was the epitome of evilness for so long right and yeah. then you would just kind of you would undercut him you would cut him off at the knees because you'd be like well he was, really wasn't the villain that bad uh but yeah i, I would agree i thought the the, the the action scene between them was was great. I really loved how they left it and how uh, Obi Wan walked away uh, from him after that line, like uh, after the Anakin line that you said. Mm. You know, I I killed Anakin Skywalker, not you. Kind of like let him off the hook, essentially. Um, and you know, that was that was a good way to end it. Um, right. Overall, and he, and hearing, what, what was great yeah. is that he, he cemented his his evilness too. At yes, the same time exactly. That's why yes. it was like a little backhanded because it was like, well, yeah, you didn't do this, but. I'm fucking whoop your ass. Still, I'm still the fucking greatest thing. Yeah, uh, most evil I'm still thing the greatest here. villain ever. 
yeah. uh, or uh, at I least in the top great. 10. Uh, so For yeah, sure. I, I, I think it, I don't know if it fully redeemed itself in the final. No, but, it didn't. I mean, uh, you know, again, I don't know if you can fully say <sighs> the show deserved to exist. No. Um, maybe you can, maybe you can't. I think that's an argument that a lot of people will have over the next few weeks. Um, I do think the movie, oh, sorry, the TV series would have worked better as a movie. Like, hey, sure, cut yeah. out the fat. Here's you and McGregor. And I think you probably could have put it on Disney Plus. You probably spent as much money as a movie to make this, right? Put it on Disney Plus and it would have been a huge hit. Um, streaming records broken left and right. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall, what would you rate the series, Ed? Like series overall? Yeah, in our in our patented scale of one out of five pizzas. Five pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many, many slices, slices you have yeah there yeah. we go there we go <laughs> um i would give i mean it's it really wasn't good uh no. yeah the only good episode was the last episode yeah uh, I would agree. and even then it wasn't like uh the whole the whole episode in, in entire in its entirety was amazing it was really just that one that that the sort part, of last yeah. scene which i thought was really incredible uh i, I you know uh, nothing. I would probably give it like a, a two pizzas, if not yeah. less than that. Like I can't, I can't recommend the show. Like I couldn't, I couldn't tell someone, yeah, I'd definitely watch it because of this, 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 and this. Like almost all of it, I thought was very pointless, as you said. Yeah. Um, and uh, if, if if only for that, just that one little part at the end. But as you know, as you know how I feel, I wouldn't tell anybody if if your third act is the only great part, I still wouldn't tell anybody to watch it because you're still asking someone to divulge an hour right. and a half or two hours of time more just to get yeah. to that part. It's just like, yeah. why would you do that to somebody? So, so, yeah, you know, so no. uh, I think that, yeah, so I would probably agree. I, I'd go like one and a half slices. I, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it just, you know, it was a lot of meandering. It was a lot of time wasting. I think if you focused way more on Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, yeah. I think it would have been better. I, think. I, I agree with that. I think yeah. they should have just done that. I don't know. I don't know whose idea was it to like put in put the, the little Reva Leia and little, and little Luke. Yeah. And Reva, all this other shit. Uh, cause they clearly didn't write enough to make them interesting. Um, so it's like, right. why, why did you just make it about freaking Vader and, and, and Obi-Wan? That's what we all really wanted to see anyways, exactly. clearly. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know whose decision it was. Um, but, uh, Kathleen Kennedy, uh, but you know, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a shame. It's a, it's, it sucks. But at the same time, it's like, well, whatever. Uh, season two. Would you want a season two? I there, there's probably yeah, that, that's there, probably going to happen actually. So I would I not. Know. I don't really know what you do from here. Vader's cemented as a pure villain. Obi Wan's cemented back to being the Obi Wan we knew. Yeah. Um, you know they gave us the Qui Gon Jinn uh, Force Ghost, right? Yeah. Um, and we got the hello there line. So <laughs> we did get the hello there. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Qui Gon. I forgot to mention Qui Gon. Oh, dude, that was great. That was great to see Liam Neeson back in, in yeah. Liam Neeson's in his, in his robes, man. That was fun. Uh, season two, honestly, yeah, I could do without it for sure. I don't care if they, if yeah. the, tomorrow they're like, nah, we're, we're gonna move on. That's fine. Yeah. At the same time, I really liked what I saw at the end there. Is may perhaps yeah. there's a way they can. If there's a way they can write a little more in between stuff about Vader between now and when, you know, all the events of uh, New Hope and all that start to happen to like kind of kind of recontextualize it a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Although that honestly, that might be a problem. <laughs> like that might end up being a bigger problem than they, right. they asked like, for. Maybe <laughs> if it's written well, you know, that's again. the big thing, right? If it's written well, uh, if, if you it's can, written like, well, find a way to make Vader even more dehumanized like yeah I, like disattached disassociated from the jedi way i'd be down yeah. um but, but if other only, than that yeah but only that like if, if not then i don't really know i don't really see the point of it um i agree I, like again you didn't do enough of the side characters for me to justify season two so if there was a season two i want hayden christensen and i want obi-wan kenobi and yeah. the way you could do it is you show them, you know, nowadays or before New Hope, right? And then maybe you can show a few flashbacks of them going into sure. battle together. Sure. De-age his face a little bit because, you know, yeah. everybody want, loves Skywalkers and love the de-aging shit. So Not here's the, another thing that I think they could do and that people will want to see, too, is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a rematch with Darth Maul again because he's not dead. Um, yeah. Take Solo. That, from, that was in the uh, Star Wars Rebels show. 
take that from exactly maybe hey, have them yeah. meet up again because you know I you love still that. Have that so there's yeah. i think there's some gas still for there's if they gas, were to do right. a season two that i mean uh, and, but as long as they focus it more than yes but, and look Get rid that's of kids God that's kind of what they're doing, right? They're taking the cartoons and they're putting them into live action. More That's or less, what yes. Filoni and John Favreau are doing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, uh, sure. I'm, I'm for it. Sure. Give me that. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. If Let they're going to do it, which, which they it are. It seems likely. It seems I, likely. I, I so. wouldn't be surprised if we only got season two. Yeah. But so, goddamn, like, please get rid of those kids. God damn yeah, it. Yeah. Like, I, I don't care about those kids anymore. Luke and Leia right now. I don't care about. Yeah. I don't care. They, they're kids. They're not yeah. interesting until new a uh, new hope. That's when right. they get interesting. I don't right, and then again, like complaining. If you're gonna do it, then you have to build them into characters. You can't just give them right. two minutes of screen time because then all right. we're gonna think is like, "Gosh, that kid's effing annoying." Yeah, super annoying. I'm sorry. Right? That kid. I'm exactly. sure that kid in real life is great, but good lord, I'm sure I, she's adorable. The writing but, and the, the yeah, her being like yeah. sassy. Yeah, if you no, if you who the fuck thought that was a good idea? No one likes that that little child. That 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 girl who know it all. No yeah. one likes that kid. No Which, one. That isn't really what she's like. It's really not. But no. she comes off as that, right? Like in the right. in the in, in the, the show. in the show. Yeah, that's how she comes off. Yeah. But that's not really what she, again, she's. She's like. a kid, so maybe uh, right. I guess. Like, you know, maybe kids have are. Anyways, I mean, kids are bratty. I don't know. I don't have kids. What do I know? It's just amazing uh, that like all these years have been saying like we didn't need to see Darth Vader as a kid. So yeah. what do we do? Bring more kids into the story. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs>